Hi, Home Instead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your June 6, 2022 Monday Motivator. As you may notice, I'm in my basement studio. Uh, I'll show you a photo of that right now. This is what it looks like where I am, am filming this. And the reason I'm here is, well, I, I normally like to be outside. I love the outdoors in which we live in. Uh, Wisconsin is just a gorgeous area, and we have so many wonderful things to celebrate. So I like filming outdoors, and very rarely do I film indoors. But it's been raining here the past three days. I'm not sure what it's been like where you are, but uh, in central Wisconsin, we've had rain, and it's just... Uh, not only made for poor lighting for the filming, but more importantly, the rain, while it won't damage me because I'm not made of sugar, uh, it will damage the camera equipment I use for filming these things. So I don't film outside typically when it rains unless I can find a spot that protects the camera equipment. And this time I couldn't. So what I was going to film, I, I couldn't do. And instead I'm in my basement. And to be honest, it upsets me a little. I like being outside. I can choose what I want to look at what I want to, to, to think about. Do I want to be upset about the fact that I'm having to film outside or do I want to choose gratitude for the fact that I have this wonderful basement uh, with the resources to be able to film this? Uh, that I, fact that I have a roof over my head that protects me from the rain. Uh, there have been many times in my life where that wasn't true. As a matter of fact, in the past three years, literally in this house, I've had it twice where that wasn't true. We had trees land on our house once, the one that destroyed a good half of our roof and the other that made it to where the roof just was not uh, solid and protecting us. There have been times where I didn't have that. And yet now I have a safe, warm, dry spot that I get to video this in. I'm not talking about clinical depression here. That's a different situation. But many times in our life, we get to choose what we focus on. Are we grateful or are we disgruntled? There's so many things that we can choose to be grateful for instead of just going, oh, I didn't get that or I don't have that. We can focus on the things that are around us that we're thankful for. My faith teaches me that we should give thanks in all circumstances because so often it is a choice. Not always. Again, clinical depression is a different thing. What are you thankful for? What are you focusing on right now? Are you focusing on what you don't have or are you focusing on the gratefulness you have for what you do have? For the things that so often we just forget about. And if we began to become grateful for them, we would begin to notice other things around us too that we are thankful for. More importantly than things, people and experiences that we are grateful for. Are you being grateful? Are you choosing that attitude of gratitude? I would love to hear what it is you're grateful for because as we share those things, we begin to notice more and more things. And if you remember nothing else from this video, what I hope you remember is this. I have something that you can be grateful for, and that is that our CEO, God, cares for you, and so do I. Have a wonderful week teaching others about love the verb and living it out as you do a remarkable job of caring for others.